Previously on the casino, Tim and Tom struggled in the past to bring in the high rollers. This is like an elephant's graveyard. We're gonna view a until a high-powered host turned it all around. Holy! He wants to put like four million in the cage. But now that the big winners are here, we got heavy action on the crap table. Will they bring down the house? This is the business we're in. Okay. Also, when Tommy tried to walk the line between being a good host Wait, are you okay? and being the life of the party, how would you guys like to come gamble with the Golden Nugget? Everything taken care of. He ended up in the gutter. Tonight, it's a long way up from rock bottom. You want to be a host? Start acting like a host. Meanwhile, Jeff and Kristen's dream wedding. The budget. <laughs> you, you're only here about the money, huh? Is fast becoming a nightmare. And now that Jeff is gambling away the budget. I don't know what would give you the impression that we would pay for your wedding. Will these two ever make it to the altar? Two shots of happy, one shot of sad. I'm just a singer, some say a sinner. Rolling the dice, not always a winner. You say I've been lucky, well, I've made my own. Not part of the crowd. But not feeling alone Rolling the dice Not always a winner Greedy for the good things As well as the bad Two shots of happy One shot of sad You know, I was a little disappointed. I was supposed to meet uh, Tommy at 10 o'clock the other day. Yeah, I was supposed to talk about Bocce before I didn't show up. And, Why didn't uh, he show up? I don't know. He said he got too drunk. But, uh, yeah, I've, I've been, been hearing this story that he's been gone. So Brian Mills comes over to me and tells me Tommy missed the meeting, get it done. which is totally unacceptable. But professionally, as a host, you smooth things over, and that's what I did. We'll deal with Tommy a little bit later. All right. Thank you so much. I really, okay. Thanks a lot. All right. I had that feeling that they were talking about me. And I just kept thinking, I'm busted. I'm busted. <laughs> this wedding is beautiful. It's like a dream wedding, but it's just out of control right now. Well, this is like the compressed version of planning a wedding, you know which is always stressful me, anyway. People are telling me at least you're only stressed for a week. You know, a week. How, how are you feeling so, about this? Is it good? I mean, this is more stressful than anything I've ever been through. It's two days away. And there's always stuff that goes wrong. You know that. There's always fighting or decisions or things that aren't working out right. But the whole money thing, it's like, um, that's just been the major issue. Jeff had a huge problem with the Golden Nugget. He wanted them to pay for the wedding. He plays a lot of money, and I think he felt that he had enough comps to pay for most of the wedding. Is there a chance this like, could like, not happen? Tomorrow morning we'll wake up and go, OK, we're all going home. Oh, we've been thinking that for the last like three or four days. Yeah, seriously. Could... No, seriously. I mean, even today I said to Jeff, I go, what do you want to do? So, so how's Jeff doing at the tables, do you know? I think at this point, I don't think he's losing still. Man, you're killing me. It'd be nice to hit a hand, you know? I was gonna keep going until I lose everything. Is that what I did? Well, we can get up and leave. I'll put it down over 35,000. That's good. I know. I know. 235 mils? Like 235 mils. Oh, Let's talk about this. Hi, Brett. Hey, man. How you doing? Good. How you doing? I'm good to see you. What's up, Dean? I want to show you something. I got the bill from the wedding from Tara. Here it is. The bottom line is oh, your total invoice to her is $100,000. All right? I'll talk to you later, D. I'll wait for this table, please. John and I will get back to you. There's definitely a gambling food chain.
And, you know, I, I'm somewhere at the top. I can afford to play big numbers. You know, since I've been coming to Vegas, you know, I don't think I've ever paid for anything in Vegas ever. But, hey, I'm going to give them my, my action. I'll give them my action. And in return, they're going to, I'm going to build comps, and I can use those comps towards anything I want. At first, at first they were going to pay for the whole thing, and then all of a sudden, it's, they're paying for nothing, and then now they, it's a mess. I know there's a lot of people out there that just take their paycheck and run to the tables and, and gamble it away. I've never been in a position where I couldn't get out of it. The Browning 9 millimeter? Yeah. Now, how much were you looking for? Uh, I've gotten three for it in the past. Three? I love gambling. Uh, as soon as I came to this town 20 years ago, I started gambling. I hawked my gun that I used in the police force. I hawked jewelry that I've gotten for graduations, you know. I'm not proud to say that, but when you want to keep that eye going, that's what you do. It's a great rush. Some people like like sex and drugs and rock and roll. I like gambling. It, it does it for me. It just totally consumes me. I want third base. Oh, I got third base. Come on, I got to take, OK, I'll play. I got third base. I mean, I, I'll play first. No, I got to I got to win tonight. I ain't screwing around. Benny, how'd you get a kitchen pass tonight? Uh, I told her I, we were working late and then just went out to get something to eat. See if we got a line or a wife to get out. Mom, my wife's working. She thinks I'm working, too. Huh? My wife hates me gambling. So when I go gambling, I'm telling her I'm working. So obviously she thinks I'm bringing home a paycheck. So I gotta, if I'm gone for eight hours and she thinks I make 20 bucks an hour, I gotta come up with 160 bucks to go back home. So it's costing me money to go out and gamble. I'm trouble here if I lose All right, the I'm putting the kid on the table. Stay here, stay here. All right, the stay. kid's on the table. Oh, That's my chip marker. Yeah. I only bring her out in certain situations. <laughs> Park in. Yeah, wait till Christmas is then. Yeah, oh, that's oh, gonna go over well with the family. The more I win, the more I wanna gamble. The more I lose, the more I want to gamble. It's a no-win situation. It's just a vicious cycle, and uh, I've been doing it for 20 years. And I just did that, didn't I? Yeah. You just doubled it. <laughs> oh, man. Taylor's going back in the pocket. I'm superstitious. Bust. Oh, oh yeah. His wife, his wife's a cop, and she don't know how much he gambles at all. At all. Hiding things from my wife is just as equally uh, thrilling to me as betting been a football game. I love it. I hate it. Tim wanted to have higher limits, better odds for the craps players. Once he changed the odds, every major craps player was coming down to the Golden Nugget. Hello, nine, dude. Nine winners. And they were winning, and it was driving me crazy. It's part of the game, but you know, that's what makes it thrilling. That's what makes it fun. My main objective was to get them to come down here, okay? And it worked. All I really care about is that they keep coming back. Everybody was winning at the Gold Nugget. I mean, it was, it was just normal for me to second guess well, what we were doing. Tom doesn't know nearly as much about gambling as I do. I mean, I more or less grew up with it. I was truly concerned. So I've got one of my players in, Bob and his family. And I'm not sure if I want Tom anywhere near these guys. Hey, winner! Oh. This one. Richie had his, his big well in, and Bob had a beautiful daughter with him. We're not supposed to flirt with the customers. But this girl was fine. She was fine. Pass by. Hey, little flirt of you. What are you talking about? 
She winked at me. I didn't fart. Yeah. It doesn't count if you're doing it back. Yeah, this is good. I like this. That's right. Look out. Four and one. Four and one. What the hell was that? Don't be flirting with the customers. Yeah, you're right. This kid has no rules. You know, it might be okay for Tommy to screw around and break the rules with his own people, but when it comes to my people and my players, there's no way he's gonna screw that up. You gotta watch yourself, buddy. Okay. You gotta watch yourself. I will from now on. Yeah, I will from now on. I will from now on. Well, I will from now on. It's always something new. It's so. always something. How many new things are you gonna get in trouble for? Not too many. All right. I'll see hey. you in a little bit. Stop flirting. Okay. All right? You guys, we don't want to seem like the nasty party here, but we can't go anywhere. Our hands are tied. Our vendors will not start on anything until they're paid. OK, so Golden Nugget's supposed to do it. I mean, I, I've already talked to all these guys. They're, they're supposed to be getting answers back in the day. All right, That's you talk to them, point. because we just want to cover our, our butts, because they're complaining that we haven't paid them any deposits We need yet. to give them some money. And we have. Yes. You know. Bottom line, we have to give them some money, and we need to do it right now. I don't think the Nugget is treating me fairly because I've, I've talked to a lot of people here. I've been asking them to please let me know where my comps stand. And everybody has told me the same thing. They'll get back to me, and no one's gotten back to me. Obviously, I have money. I mean, right, that's not the point. Because okay, but, they're paying okay. for the whole wedding? They're supposed to be paying for almost everything here. It's two days away. We need to figure I it know, out. Chris, okay. 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 I know, Kristen. Okay, what are we going to do, okay? Tommy will they're supposed to be paying for this. Is there somebody that we can talk to that There's I can talk to? There's 10 people I talked to today. Rip all their heads off. OK, and they're all working on it right now. They all said to get back to me. They're all apologizing. They're all ready to like, finish this thing. Now, all of a sudden, I have to pay for it. I mean, what do you want me to do? There's no way I can pay my bills. It's impossible. Totally impossible to pay my bills. I am not going bankrupt. I'll tell you I that right now. To, you know we have to do something about, about the bills. We have to go see a lawyer or something, because I can't pay them anymore. My current financial situation is it's gotten really bad. Uh, the minimum payments are just outrageous. We have to fix it. I don't know what to do, Jason. I've never been in a situation like this before. Yeah, that's fine. Well, we'll talk to a lawyer during the week. I might have to declare bankruptcy. I don't want to, but I can't make. I can't do it anymore. We talked about that. You can't do that when we're married. Maybe we need to get legally separated. I would never want my wife to leave me. She's the best person in the world. If she really threatened to pull away with my daughter and herself, that I would just go crazy. I try to keep my losses to a minimum, but I just, I'm so repetitive that it just gets to the point where I've, I've lost so much money. We're not winning any money, and uh, the players are beating our brains in, but the play is way up. We're getting a lot of new business in, which is exactly what I've been hoping for. I'm not really concerned about that right now. I mean, that'll come around. But um, How can you not just be concerned about that? Tom, when are you supposed to be concerned about? The laws of probability still exist at the Golden Nugget, just like they do everywhere else. It's like a bubble almost, you know? It's, it's like the bubble can only get so big before it bursts. And then when it bursts, the casino was there to pick up all the pieces. That's marketing strategies. Let them win the first time they come in. Exactly. No question. That's great. Nothing breeds yeah, players like winners. Is there anything else to wrap this up? Well, I do want to talk to you about the Mills wedding. You know, he's asking us to take care of quite a few items. I just want you and Tom aware that there is going to be uh, minimal cost on the Golden Nuggets part, maybe maybe 25 grand, somewhere in there. We got to do whatever we need to do to keep them happy, because they definitely deserve that. Right. But I also don't want to give the impression that it's a blank check either. No. You know what I mean? Right. I mean, I don't want to be played for a sucker. Yeah, I understand. And between John, Tommy, and myself, you know, we're on top of the group. We're going to be able well, to. Dave, just not to step out of turn here, but Tommy. And no offense, Johnny, at all. No. They missed the, uh, a big meeting on their bachelor party. Who missed it? Who missed it? Tommy. What happened? Listen, Go ahead. We he was out with a player that got sick on the side of the curb. And then he missed the meeting after that? Yeah. He was drunk, drinking with So I felt bad telling about Tommy and what was going on. But you know, I'm there to protect him and Tom's interests. I like Tommy, but maybe he's not ready to be a host. Maybe, well, he, need, maybe he needs a little more time in the casino. That is disappointing. I, I don't. It's ridiculous. That stuff shouldn't happen. Do you need me to talk to him, Timmy, or? Someone needs to. No, you thing. know what? Richie, you know what you should do? Take him under your wing a little bit and coach him, Rich. I know 
it's probably a pain in your ass, but. I just don't want to take one step forward, two steps back. I wasn't confident that Tommy was really ready to be a full-on host. So what we decided to do was have Richie kind of take Tommy under his wing. And then after a few days or a week or so, Richie could come back and tell us whether or not Tommy's got it. Let him work on the bachelor party, because actually it can be a good test for him. Then we'll, then we'll decide. Boot camp, Tommy goes. Tommy, let's go. Come here. Come here. Okay, let me tell you something, all right? You missed the meeting with Brian Mills? How can you miss the meeting with a big player? <laughs> Tommy's got all the, this little smirk on his face all the time. He doesn't take anything seriously. So I thought I'd scare him. I thought I'd put the fear of God in him. You could be fired over this. All I have to do is go back to Timmy and say he's not worth the job as being a host. You want to be a host? Start acting like a host. I'm not going to I've never you. seen Richard that mad. I mean, he lost it. For the next couple days, you're going to take care of this bachelor party. You're going to apologize to Brian Mills for missing that meeting. And you're going to follow me around, and you're going to learn from me. I'm here to evaluate you now. Do you understand me? Yeah. Yes. I knew I had to turn it around, or I was gone. Brian Mills. Tommy. What's going on, man? Hey, dude, I'm so sorry about last night. Uh, please accept my apology. Dude, I waited for you. What happened? Yeah, I had one too many shots. Of... You didn't even call. I'm pissed. You know what? And you should be. You should be angry. Uh, let's just let's just say the Jägermeister kicked my ass. And I mean, I know that's no excuse. And, I mean, I, I apologize. Apology accepted, but I'm still gonna beat you up. I'm gonna make this the greatest bachelor party of all time, even if it kills me. Listen, the boys wanna hook up with the girls at the end of the bachelor party night. We just need to sit down and talk about this. All right, I'll see you later. Just, just find me on the floor. Okay, okay, I'll see you later. Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, the king has arrived. Oh, no, no. Hey, Mark. Mr. Mr. Poster. Who are we waiting on? We're, we're ready to roll. You know, we've, over the last few months, we've talked about how to position this property, some of where you guys are coming from and your feelings about the need to get back to old Las Vegas. Our team went back and brainstormed and came up with a number of ideas on how to best capture that. So we needed a new ad campaign to get the word out that Tim and I are making big changes at the Nugget. So I brought in the best ad guys I could find. Tim's primary focus is definitely on the casino floor. I absolutely love the operational side of the hotel. When you come to the Golden Nugget, you better come to play, because that's what it's all about. We came up with this line, and we just thought, this works. This works across the board. I like that. What do you think, Tim? I think it's great. I love that. It's like the perfect. Short to the point. Again, you're going to leave all the home stuff behind, and you're going to come here, and you're going to have a great time. You can do absolutely everything you want. Come here to play. We need your help today, man. How about, uh, how about wedding rings? Let me see it. I never pawned this before. I uh, hawked my wedding ring, which I've never done before. It was the first time I've hawked it in five years. I never even thought about hawking it. 1.6 grand, Bill. Diamonds are real. It's gotten so bad with the payday loans I have out, the credit cards, and trying to keep this a secret for my wife. You know, she's going to find out unless I come up with money to pay these bills so these companies don't call my house. 60 bucks. Couldn't go 80, huh? Come on, you know I'm going to get it back out. You didn't pick the last stuff you were in here and got. Come on, you're lying. No, I'm not lying. And you let it forfeit. Did I really? Yeah. What was it? It's a, I don't know. Another know. ring. I can't believe I got myself in this situation. I just, I don't know how it got so bad. What are you gonna roll? Give me five dollars on the hard tents. Bet a hundred bucks and it doesn't do nothing for you no more. So now you gotta bet two hundred bucks. Hard tents, fifty-five. 
five, three, five. Gambling gods aren't with me. All right. It just keeps on getting higher and higher. And that's why I'm at the point now where I can't pay my bills. Now, what I'm doing with my gambling is risking my family life. And uh, my whole life's a gamble right now. Dude, I just lost 5,000 right there. I know you're trying to win a wedding, but my God, it's getting a little out of control. I hear you. He really wanted to give Kristen a really good wedding. He decided he wanted to try to gamble it, but you know, he's taken out a big marker, and all of a sudden, he's betting $10,000 a hand. We definitely can afford to gamble. We like to come to Vegas. We get caught up in the in the lights and the women and in, in the fact of winning. It just, and it happens, and you end up going overboard. It was nice. Pat, you behave. Pat, you He's betting, he's losing $10,000. Then he's betting $15,000. Lose, lose, lose. I was just dying inside. This is me a little out of hand. Here's my wedding right here. <laughs> I want to so badly get to the wedding shoe. I have no idea. I'm going to do it too. We're going to do it right now. The only man I know puts the wedding on the line. You know? Oh, yeah, what a country, huh? Here it was, gambling for my wedding. That's crazy. And that's it. All my marker money is gone. You know, I just got caught up in the whole thing. It's almost like sometimes gambling is the answer to everything. It was a wake-up call. It's at the point now where if she catches me this one last time, uh, I think her and the baby are gone, which is really scaring me. Listen, I know I'm late, but uh, I just got done doing Mario's driveway, so I'll be home. All right. All right, I'll see when I get home. All right, you pissed? Hello? Hello? Yes, she is pissed. I'm just sort of going through the motions right now, and she hasn't left me yet. Sooner or later, we're going to have to talk, and uh, something's going to have to give. start the party at 9 o'clock. Okay. Whatever we're going to figure out, DJ, the ones and twos, the, the fog machine, we'll get the party going. Right now, my focus is on the bachelor party. At the end of the night, the two parties are going to come together, and they're going to have a party up here in one of the rooms with a DJ. They want a fog machine. I'm in charge of that. We party like it's 1999. Yeah, like it's BBO. Let's oh. take it back a few. All right, I'll be back. I had a meeting with Dee Cotton, our director of casino marketing, about the bachelor party. I was totally nervous. Hey, Dee, what's going on? OK, what's up? So they're having their bachelor party Monday. The only thing they were curious about was at nighttime, they wanted to get both parties, because Kristen's having hers also. Kristen's having her party, Jeff's having his party. They wanted to come together at around 9 o'clock. And they, they were curious about one of the convention rooms, a DJ and a fog machine. Well, you know, I'm right in the middle of this thing right here with him, Tommy, and, you know, he's a valuable customer to the Nugget, and, you know, I admire him and respect him as a businessman and, and as a client, but, you know, there's got to be a line here somewhere yeah. on what's happening here, yeah. so... No, I know. I mean... No, I, I tell you what, I, I think they should go off property and, and meet somewhere else, and, uh, you know... They pay for their own party. When Dee said, absolutely not, we're not taking care of anything, I'm going to do everything okay. I can not to say no. All right. Yeah. OK, I'll take care of it. Thanks. So I got my own problems I got to deal with. OK. What's going on with the Mills party? Um, they want us to pay for the bachelor party. I went and asked Steve, but he said no. I mean, and that's just not feasible, you know that, you know what I mean? So, there's other things that we can do. Go to bat for them. You know, Tommy, you're a host. You gotta be resourceful. Get in there and fight for your player. All right, Richard. Okay? All right. Get out of here. Thank you. Thank you. I saw a 
Brian Mills winning, and I had this brilliant idea. I decided to go talk to Dee and ask him about the bachelor party one more time. Now hear me out for a second, Dee. You know what, Jeff's asking really for a lot. Maybe based on his comps, he might be able to, to do something. I had this idea. Brian Mills is a player as well. I mean, he's not as big as Jeff, of course, but Brian Mills is a player. Why couldn't we use his comps to pay for the bachelor party? They would definitely justify it. John, now they want us to uh, pay for the bachelor parties Monday night. <laughs> Oh, man. This is Brian, Dad. This is Brian on six. Tommy's got a good point. You know, he's a nice little player with no comps at all. But he's lost a few bucks here, oh. him and Brett. He's definitely a solid, solid player. He plays a lot of money. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. He's got some play. I can't argue with that. It's a good feeling when you convince the director of marketing that, hey, you didn't see this side of it. Check it out. It was definitely a confidence booster for me. I, I, I'll tell you what, uh, you know, if they want to have another little party, his dad plays, it's, yeah. it's going to be okay. All right, Tommy, you win. Just stay on top of it. Oh, yeah. I'm getting good at this. <laughs> the kid. <laughs> I'm looking at it, Tom. Tim, are you seeing this? Tom, I don't really want to have this conversation. I know, I see it. What do you want me to tell you? I'll be right back. Although I like to gamble and I've had my fair share of winning and losing streaks, this was over the top. This is a bad run of luck for the I house, I know, boy. Tom, it, it sucks. What can I tell you? These guys can kill us. I know it hurts right now, and it seems like we can't beat anybody, but I know you told just me, trust me never to sweat the money. Don't sweat. What do you want to do, close the casino? No, but these are huge limits. Things will even out at the end of the year. Remember, it's half my money, too, but I, I'd rather be in my position than their position. You have a problem, and you have to fix your problem. You have to take care of business like you haven't been. Period. End of story. You have a major problem, and it's ridiculous with the gambling now. We have a daughter. We have a house. I don't want to lose my things. I work too hard for my things. I, I keep finding out about things. I got to worry about what's coming in the mailbox. I, I, so I, I. get phone calls from I'm... creditors. Uh, my husband doesn't have a credit card. Oh, yes, your husband does have a credit card. Oh, yes, the credit card is maxed out. That's wrong. It's not fair. I work too hard for my money to be going that way. I regret what I've done to my family and friends. I really do. I'm not intentionally trying to hurt them. I'm just satisfying my own needs when I gamble. And it's selfish. And it's got to stop. I need help. I'd like to call up um, a doctor. And I'd like to go see a doctor, a counselor. Whatever you have to do is fine. I, you know, I'll see the doctor. I'd like to make an appointment for my husband, Jason Ostrowski. OK, thank you. All right, bye. I need some coffee. If you, I'm sorry, I, I don't mean to interrupt, but if I've gotten thrown into this. I need to pay my vendors. They're expecting deposits. They're asking for deposits. So whoever it comes from, it needs to come tonight. I don't know what, what would, well, I don't know what would wedding. give you the impression that we would pay for your wedding. Granted, you're a good customer of the hotel, but nobody at the Golden Nugget ever said we would take care of your wedding. All I want you guys to do is say, Jeff, I'm going to pitch in this much. And then I can say, either you guys take a hike, or I can leave today well, and we're done. He... I just haven't gotten any answers. Here's the other issue that we were told that you were spending $45,000 on this wedding. This invoice is over 100000 How much are the flowers? So, 11,200. 11,000? Yeah. What florist did you use? Desert florist, and you know what? He came down a lot. That, that's way high. If you're concerned about cost, you need to take a look at spending eleven thousand two hundred fifty dollars on flowers. Well, that's because she's saying that's because that room that you oh, guys have no, here. Oh no, no, no! So she's big. way off base okay. on that. You know she's what? never seen a decorator or anything else. That's a whole other issue. No, it's not another really issue. No, D, it's yeah, not yeah, another yeah. issue. Yeah, Tara, it is. It's not. It is. No. Yeah. If you want to review line by line what that florist no, is providing, just, it's that, in that package. No, I, it's just a beautiful wedding for eleven thousand two hundred fifty dollars worth of flowers. It, it, it's, it's stunning. It's gorgeous. It's stunning. The point is, is that I put a deposit for the florist because I was told to do it because you guys didn't step up to the plate. Right. 
Exactly. Complaining about the customers. Down. I'll talk to Tara. Okay. You You're, know what? She's to... the owner of the company that I work for. Yeah. I thought, oh my God, my wedding planner is going to quit. And without Tara, I'm not having a wedding. Okay, I will get to the bottom of this. I'm, I'm causing did... a lot of stress. <laughs> you intentionally in there tried to make me look bad. No, I didn't. Yes, yes, you did. Stop, yes, Mom. Did. Stop, okay. Mom. Okay. You intentionally tried to make me look bad because no, somebody I, I, here I isn't doing their job. I didn't mean to make you look bad. Okay. I, I feel like you did it intentionally well, no, to I'm just save saying, your butt. I'm just saying. Look. See you later. Oh, I'm gonna start calling you the wedding planner. Adam Sandler's got nothing on you. What are you, are you sprinting? Jeff, what's going on? Listen, I'm tired of fighting you guys. My dad and I are trying to work it out. Um, we have D involved. Forget it. I'm going to make everyone happy. I'm paying for my own wedding. You and the Nugget are off the hook. I just want the Nugget to help me with a few little things. My man, when the Sunstroms are involved, it's all taken care of. You know that. Bye. At the end of the day, doing the right thing, not for me, not necessarily for the Gold Nugget, but for Kristen, that's what mattered the most. I got it. I got it. Don't look down for a second. I'm telling you, I can already see it right now. Take a look. The Zoot. What do you think? How much is this going to cost, you know? Beautiful. I think it's beautiful. Yeah. Did you like it? I mean, I like it. I, mean, I love it. OK, well, I love it, too. Let's get it suited. Done. All right. Let's do it. What do you think the girls are really going to say when we walk in in Zoot suits? Well, doesn't, her, doesn't her dad take her down the aisle? <laughs> in a suit. He's going to turn around and go right back out. <laughs> How about some vodka? How about a little vodka? Right here, right here. Tim. Hey, what's up? We got heavy action on the crap table. Lorenzo and the whole crew showed up. It seemed like our marketing strategy was paying off. The place has never been busier. We were pulling in some pretty big craps players, and it doesn't get any bigger than Lorenzo. He's got no fear. No, well, none, no fear. zero fear. He, you know, his 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 betting strategy is simple: just bet the absolute <laughs> maximum allowed. Just put it out there. And he created a pretty big maximum. Yeah. So. <laughs> What's the point now? Five. 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 I mean, he was up 200,000, 300,000, I mean, a half a million dollars. And I have to tell you that my stomach was just turning and turning and turning because they were all winning. They were playing for hundreds of thousands of dollars and they were winning. Dana, I'm not a sweater. Here we go. You guys knew better, didn't you? Finally, his luck changed and the dice turned cold. As much as it hurts to lose hundreds of thousands of dollars, winning it back is an incredible high. He wants another hundred. You got it. There's a famous saying that the very most thrilling thing in the world is to gamble and win. The second most thrilling thing in the world is to gamble and lose.
I need a reality check to stop gambling. I think the resolution of this gambling is just uh, seek help. You know, I want the edge in this one, and I'd like to come out on top, you know, with my family and just forget about all this gambling. You're back, huh? Yep. Getting the goods out. The poker player, right? Yep. Yeah. Hey, That's your ID? Yeah. You do any good? No, I didn't get enough to play poker, but I'm crapped shocked. Out. Crapped out. <laughs> you want to play tonight? Uh, no. I'm going to get up. I went for the treatment. Obviously, uh, my family's more important to me, and I would never want my wife to leave me. It's going to be $71. All right. All right. Glad you didn't give me more, because I would have blown that, too. Yeah. Not too bad you're not going to play tonight. Maybe we could take some from you. <laughs> Richard doesn't mess around. The last place you want to be is on his bad side. It may have been the fear of losing my job that got me to listen to Richard and do the right thing. I felt like I was back on the right track with Richard. Proper etiquette is yeah. always be nice to the floor supervisors because they're, they're part of the team, OK? Yeah. It's all a big team. They rate your player, yeah. OK, first of all. The dealer, without him having customer service, they're having a miserable time. Because they have a good time on the floor, then they have a good time with us, done. Gotcha. All right? Cool. You know, I was explaining the importance of teamwork to Tommy when I noticed one of the dealers pissing off one of my big players. So I'd like for you and your friend or just yourself to come see me. John, what'd you bring your daughter this trip? You bring your daughter with you? Let me bring my daughter. Sorry, be nice, sorry. I told you a long time ago, be nice. We ain't that familiar. <laughs> Next thing I know, he, he's getting up from the table and leaving. I immediately went into damage control mode. Put him in check, Harry James. Tell me what he said. What do you with your daughter to strip? She ain't that What do you say? What do you with your daughter to strip? Put him in check. Check me. I'll put him in check. Put him in check. Don't talk to me at all like that. All right. Why quit the tape? All right. Richard noticed there was a problem the second his player got up. This guy's already, like, so impressive as far as everything he does. I could not wait to see how he's going to handle this one. What happened? What do you mean? He said he got up from the table because somebody made a smart ass yeah, comment. Yeah, Harry him. pissed him off. So you handle it and tell him, listen, they can't get carried away. This is still a pit. This is still a player. And this player is important to me. This eight years, and, and we're, he's coming down in a nugget from going anywhere else. So if you can help me, I appreciate it. Absolutely. OK, you have a problem with it, then let me know. I'll take it further. OK? Thank you. Sure. Is now? Monique wants to talk to you real quick. He's over by the podium. Good God, all right. Good God almighty. This has turned into quite a big deal, actually. What you said to John really pissed him off. He, he, he got so pissed off that he colored up and he left the table. He was so pissed, he went and he told Richard, his host, Harry, you cannot, you cannot do that, okay? okay. If you can find it within yourself, just, you know, kind of apologize to him, all right? Okay. I took care of it, okay? I took care of it. You will get an apology. Okay. With these guys that do big business, if you treat them right, they're going to come back. You know, it's inevitable. They're going to come back as long as they had good service and as long as I took care of them to the best I could. I talked to the Mills. Really pleased with your performance. Proud of you. Thank you. I was stoked. I was going to keep my job. You've come a long way. You know, let me tell you something. A host job is very sought after position because one day you could be making a half a million dollars, quarter of a million dollars doing it. So you have to remember that. And at the same time, on the way up, don't ever forget where you come from. No, don't ever forget where you come from. And one other thing. Yeah. Don't ever forget to not zip up your pants. We're doing away. I love you. <laughs> 
Richard Wilkes is the man. I could be Richard Wilkes one day. As long as you don't have your hands in your pants and you're spreading your pants in front of your head, <laughs> then you're in a lot of trouble. Tonight's episode featured music by Matt Dusk. Next on The Casino, Tim offers Matt the chance of a lifetime. I got you the showroom. But can Matt trust him? Are you serious? As Kristen and Jeff get ready to say I do. Do you want me to introduce you as Mr. and Mrs.? The Bachelors are running wild. When Brian starts juggling bridesmaids. Get the Will Kristen's perfect wedding come undone? You're stressing me out by not being in my vicinity.